previously on YouTube's The Drawing Dead. I'm gonna punish him. He's gonna get punished. Big mouth. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, it's too early. Too early for blogging. How about you just you you come back later, and then we'll start the whole blog thing. But it's too early right now. Too early. So I got a few things to say about last night. Last night, I happened to uh, lose some footage. Last night, after the meetup game, I went to Bally's and got into a juicy 2-5 game. Uh, I recorded some stuff outside. I played the game a little bit longer. I recorded how the game ended. And then I did some stuff outside in the hallway before I went to bed. Today, when I went to check the footage, the little piece about how the game ended um, was gone. And the reason why it was gone was because I never recorded it. I don't think I ever actually pushed the record button. So I didn't really film how the 2-5 session ended last night. It didn't end well. And I wasn't very happy. Which probably explains why I just forgot to push the record button. I just wasn't in here. But let me go over how the 2-5 session ended last night at Bally's. In one hand, it pretty much came crashing down. In this particular hand, it's open in middle position at 35. Um, hijack calls 35. Button calls 35. I make it 175 in the small blind with pocket kings. The middle position opener tanks for a little bit. He ends up calling. The button calls, and we see the flop three ways. The flop is king of diamonds, seven of spades, eight of spades. I have two black kings, by the way. So, as this other guy I know would say, this is a pretty favorable flop for my hand. Two other players in the hand. I definitely want some action. So, I bet 200 from the small blind leaving myself with about $650. The middle position guy calls, the button folds. The turn brings the deuce of spades. So now there's three spades on the board. I have top set, um, straight draws, nothing else come in. My hand should still be good here, uh, especially since I have the king of spades. It makes it a little bit less likely that they have uh, a spade flush. So I move in. And the middle position guy tanks for a second, which makes me feel a little bit better about him not having a spade flush. And he calls. The river comes the eight of clubs. So now I improve to a full house. And the middle position player turns over. Hold on, I'm, I'm still processing the pain here. He turns over pocket eights for river quads. So, um... Yeah, we agree, but who the fuck expected to get raped over here? Come on, Jimmy, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Why? Yeah. Down $1,000 in Bally's 2-5, because I elected not to rebuy. At that point, it was getting late. It was a little bit after 3, I think. Uh, and I wasn't in the mood even though you know we play and they don't be results oriented and it still kind of stings sometimes to lose the quads so that was the end of the night i wish i'd have had my original recording of that 
recorded because the emotion was a lot more raw than it is now waking up the next day. But I needed to tell you how the night ended at Bally, so there you go. And with that, we are going to be uh, getting out of here and heading back over to the Westgate to see the one they call The Trooper for his meetup game. So next time you see me, it'll probably be in Westgate surroundings. Catch you later. So we have made it to the Westgate. <laughs> and we are just going to pretend like that disastrous session last night didn't happen. Oh Lord. And we're just gonna play some more poker. How about that? How about that? What'd you do? With these, I got a uh, one out for heaps. <laughs> Still at the Troopers game. Still stuck. Did I tell you I was stuck? This hasn't been the best last three sessions for me. But this game's a little different. We're just kind of drinking and having fun and it's not serious poker. So having a good time. I think I'm stuck about 250, 300 bucks at the moment. But I wanted to uh, take a moment and say it was great meeting everybody at Trooper Thursdays, even though I'm down a couple hundred bucks. And hope to see you guys soon. Is that it? Do I got anything else to say? No, I think that's it. The crazy thing about me being stuck in the game is it's uh, basically the fault of two people. Two people. This guy. What do I do? And that guy. See the guy down there in the shirt waving like he's a nice guy. He's not a nice guy. If it wasn't for those two, I'd be doing all right. Still at uh, Trooper Thursdays, taking a little break for some uh, coffee and donut action. I don't know why I'm eating so many damn donuts on this trip.
So outside the Westgate, Troopers game is still going on. We're still here. Probably about five hours into the game, I am up uh, a bit. Four or five bills. And the game is starting to wind down a little bit. So now I'm thinking about what am I going to do next? Where should I go after Trooper Thursdays? Back to the Bellagio again? Aria again? Rio? How about someplace completely new? That's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to go to a room I've never been to. There's a dramatic pause here because I'm sure you're waiting for me to tell you what room that's going to be. I don't know. I'll figure it out. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. One oh. Trooper Thursdays is a wrap. It's time to get out of here. Time to head on to the next one. I know I said previously I was going to try to go someplace new for my next session. Someplace I'd never been. But a quick look at the Bravo didn't really excite me. There's not that many places oh, out there that uh, I haven't been that have games. So I think it being 10.30, 11 this Thursday night, I'm just gonna head over to the Bellagio, see if I can get into a 2.5 or 5.10 game, and then we'll just play it out from there. That's the plan. So before I take off, let me give you the results. In the game for 600, out for 12.58, so up 6.58. So, not a bad result. Let's just keep this going tonight. Try to ensure tonight's not like yesterday. Mid-session update time. 
So remember when I got here, I said, should I really play? I'm kind of tired. About 15 minutes later, I regretted my decision to play. I was in a 2-5 game. I was already stuck. Maybe 200 bucks. Just because of bad play. Tired, bad play. Calling in spots I shouldn't be calling in. Getting stubborn pre-flop. But I hung in there. And right now, I'm up. Maybe three or four hundred bucks. The game is still good. I got a second wind. I'm feeling great. And this camera battery is dying. You know what? But I got another camera battery in the bag. What I'm going to do is we're going to cut this mid-session update off right now. I'm going to go back in and play. And you're going to get another mid-session update when I get my camera juiced back up. Because I have some things to say. And I won't be stopped by a camera battery. in the room at Bally's. Unfortunately, I didn't have a spare battery in my bag. The spare battery was here in the room. So I finished my session at the Bellagio. I came back to the room. I got the spare battery and now I'm talking to you fine people. A half-assed mid-session update and no camera to wrap up the session. So let's just wrap it up now. In the game for a thousand, out for $9.92. So down $8. But Jamin, you said you were up. During the mid-session update, weren't you up? What happened? I don't know. I missed draws. I missed draws. That's what happened. I missed draws. I turned bad two pairs and I lost $8. But you would think that since I'm back in the room and it's about 2.30, that the night is over. Night ain't over. I got one more session downstairs at Bally's and we'll just, you know, just, mm, just back up. And I'll try to recoup that $8. So let's get down there and go finish the night with one more quick session at Bally's, right?
done at Bally's, and I have good news and bad news about my session at Bally's. The game was fantastic. There was one guy at the table who's a couple players to my right, and you might have seen at least his chip stack in the videos. He was splashing around. One of those players that likes basically every hand pre-flop. He was flopping the world, and he was getting paid. In fact, I paid him off. So part of the bad news is, I don't think I captured any hands that I played. I think every hand that I captured, I folded. You didn't see me put in a huge raise with ace-queen pre-flop to have him call with queen-nine offsuit and flop two pair and stack me. You didn't see that, but that happened. What you also didn't see is me raise pre-flop with 9-7 suited, flop a straight, and stack the guy next to me. You didn't see that either. But what you did see is that I cashed out for 671. In the game for 600, out for 671, and as you can see, it's light outside. It's morning time again. So that is gonna end it for this session at Bally's. That's gonna end it for this day. The Trooper Thursday day that turned into morning. But like always, if you like the videos, click the thumbs up icon. Subscribe and you'll get notifications and leave me a comment and I will probably respond eventually. And I will catch you guys tomorrow, which is really today, after I get some sleep. the drawing dead. I did get into a pot with the guy from Switzerland who did lay down a big hand, that guy from Switzerland. Or is it missed value just because I can't count? This trip, I wanted to introduce you guys to this man, his first mid-session update. Can't complain about that. You'll have to excuse me because I'm losing my voice. Turn that down just a little bit. No down. And um, it didn't end well. And I wasn't very uh, happy. As this other guy, I wouldn't. My hands, to, which makes me feel a little bit better about him not having this. Which makes me feel a little bit better about him not. Which makes me feel. <laughs> he flopped middle set to my top set. We get it all in on the turn. Mini Rivers quads. So I will. Uh... Why do you have a condom on your hand? Safety. But it's not. But it's not all out kill the man poker. After, tro after Trooper Thursdays. You didn't see that I raised pre-flop. You didn't see me raise ace queen pre -flop. You didn't see me you didn't see me put in a huge raise with ace queen pre -flop. Because I have some things to say. Camera. Outside on the bench. But a quick look up Trooper Thursdays is a wrap. A wrap. Jamin Burton leaves the bank rolls hurting at the table on a quest to stack 10 G's, nothing less than set straights and flushes. So when you see him at the table, come correct you bluffers. He ain't taking no shortcuts. He's all about more.